My bad. I wasn't recording. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Tiffany. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. I have been wrestling with what video am I supposed to record next? Like, what, what do you want from me? <laughs> what do you want from me? Uh, and then I decided, you know what? It's job searching time. It's job searching time. I mean, let's let's talk about it first, right? Just a little background. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, recent ones, um, I found out I got laid off or I was going to be laid off come July 1st. So I went into building mode. So I wanted to like build a project, get an idea out there, do it start to finish. I've been documenting the things I've done on that project on this channel. So take a look at those videos. I'll link them if you're interested in checking those out. So I did that and now it's like, okay, now what, right? The what now is, is go find a job. That's what's next. I will admit it, it's been, it's been very scary slash nerve wracking for me to go and just be like, yeah, just go get a job and it's like huh it's not easy I've been seeing tons of articles things on social media from other people in the industry like this is not the greatest time to be trying to find a job that's what they all say and so it, knowing that information going into this has been very nerve-wracking for me I'll admit it and I will say that like if you've been following my channel at any point you can go back and watch the videos. I've been laid off before, right? A couple of times before. And listen, it sucks. However, the last time I was laid off was three years ago. It was before, well, it was about three and a half years ago, before I got this job. And it was back in 2019 when I got laid off. No, sorry, 2020 when I got laid off along with a bunch of other people, right? But the opportunities going into like 2021 were like, there was a vast amount of them. There was a wide array of opportunities. I had multiple job offers. And uh, when I really started looking, I did at that point to take some time for myself as well for a couple months. And then I started to go on the hunt. And I recognize that's a privilege that some people don't have. And I'm not taking it lightly at all. But I'm comparing like this time to last time, just a little bit. And I'm like, things have changed like immensely things have changed and it's to me it's just a little bit more it's just a bit more tricky to navigate right and I'm also finding that like hey the things I did back then to get a job I don't think they're gonna work this time like you know what I'm saying like you gotta teach the old dog some new tricks here because things aren't gonna be the same so because of that I've been a little bit nervous about this job search because I recognize that, hey, this is a different thing that we're doing. I've relied more so on my peers. I've relied on recommendations, referrals, and I recommend you do the same. Like if you're on the hunt, if you're trying to look, look for referrals. I said recommendations, <laughs> but I mean, I guess people can recommend you like, hey, have you tried this job? That's a recommendation. I think that's what we're at now. Like you have to know somebody to get in the door these days. It's not fun, but I mean, that's what we have right now. And that's, that's the world we're living in. Um, I have even went to the extent of like, Hey, I really like this job. And then I went on LinkedIn and somehow, some way, um, I see somebody posting about a job and they, they say, Hey, my DMS are open if you want to talk about it. And I'm like, what? Like to me, that's like game changer. So if you ever see any of those, take advantage of this opportunity of that opportunity. I did. I ended up taking advantage of that opportunity. I scheduled a call with with somebody and asked them some questions like about the job um, interview process for that company. And I just was blown away that like, I was able to get like 45 minutes of this person's time. I don't know about you. But that to me is not normal for someone to be like, yeah, let's take almost an hour of my time I got it it's like when you're hiring it's like what like <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that anyway so I thought that was very generous and was very grateful for that opportunity unfortunately um well through that opportunity he did give me a referral for the position 
but unfortunately it didn't pan out. So I wasn't able to even interview. And I thought to myself, dang, are this many people interviewing for this job? I did think it was kind of crazy too, because it was for like a Laravel job in the past from my experience. Um, like my background, my last six years have been PHP Laravel. And so I haven't, I don't remember encountering like a bunch of like people feeding PHP and Laravel jobs. You know what I mean? Like I haven't seen it, but it just goes to show the economy, the state of economy that we're in right now. Um, there are many people that are just grasping for whatever they can get their hands onto for rightful reasons. And so, uh, yeah, it's kind of like, what? dang, is that what we doing right now? (laughs) It's crazy. So I was kind of blown away that I didn't even get a chance to talk to a recruiter to discuss the, you know, the role and like my qualifications. I was like, I guess I don't qualify. Dang, I, it wasn't even a senior job. That's why I was like, dang, what? Um, it was mid-level. I was like, what? What are we doing? <laughs> what is the world looking like? The next part of this is when I talked about like heavily ref- we're revolving around like your network and stuff. I will say that a lot of the people in my company have also been l- laid off or they will be laid off come July. And like everyone's trying to find something, right? And so the people at my company have been great. My coworkers have been amazing. So shout out to my coworkers. I don't really talk about my channel to my coworkers, but shout out to my coworkers because they have been like throwing in some opportunities here and there. And I think it's also motivated me too because I came across an opportunity this few weeks ago something just didn't jive with me in the in the whole the culture of the company it didn't really speak to me and give me warm fuzzy vibes but I was like I thought about it after I saw my other co-workers kind of throwing stuff out there and I was like you know what who am I to deny this position to somebody else because what if this does fit for somebody else but it's just not fit for me and that's a that's a thing that can happen I am actually looking at one of the positions that one of my coworkers had thrown out there uh, within the last week and I wanted to apply to the job. So all I'm doing is I'm following up and I'm asking her like, hey, like I saw you posted this job. Do you have a contact for this job? Um, because sometimes people have a recruiter contact. Like if they, if they spoke to a recruiter, I'm like, hey, can you give me their information? Like that sort of thing. So that's one way that I've been navigating this differently. The second way is I was trying to like really do my thing on LinkedIn, but LinkedIn played in my face. Like LinkedIn is seriously playing in my face. Okay, check it out. I gotta say, I gotta say this real quick. This is related. I was trying to reach out to a recruiter and I literally was like trying to type just a message. All I wanted to do was introduce myself, say that I applied to this job, and also wanted to reiterate that like, hey, I don't know if you're the one hiring for this job because in the job description, you know how on LinkedIn, sometimes it says who the hiring team is. It didn't say. So I wanted to say like, hey, if you're not the one hiring for this, can you point me in the direction to who is? But I also wanted to like point out like, hey, I have a couple qualifications. I think that might fit for this job. So might be a good fit for this job. And so I literally was trying to type all that out. LinkedIn is playing in my face because they want us to, they're pushing the premium. And I'm like, what? I'm like, I have 200 characters, y'all. 200 characters. I've never been so like restricted in my life. I'm like, what do you want me to do with 200 characters? They was like, yeah, you want to try premium? No. What are you doing? Like, I'm so upset with them. (laughs) Why are they doing this to me? I ended up sending a short message. It was all that I could send was this short message uh, that basically said, hi, my name. I don't even think I said my name is Tiffany. I think I just said, hi, I applied to this job and hopefully you'll find me interesting. Thanks. (laughs) Let's connect. I had to do a, a connection request. And so I went on to LinkedIn, asked to connect. And I was like, hopefully this works. This is crazy now. I feel in my spirit, like just like in my mind, I'm thinking and I'm like, I feel like there was a time when I had more characters. 
but I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I have anything to justify it. Anyways, so I'm trying the LinkedIn approach. <laughs> And so I decided to like almost try premium. There's like, try premium for a month. And I'm like, eh, I don't know. But I, I, I clicked on the button to try it. And then, but I clicked on the premium. And it's like, hey, if you want to do an annual premium, it's like, what was it? Almost $250 or something. I'm like, who's just walking around with $250 for LinkedIn premium? Like, do you have that to just dump on you LinkedIn premium? I don't know. I had a thought. I mean, I pay for YouTube premium, but I just don't want the commercials. But <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, do I have my priorities out of order? Probably, probably. But I decided like, what about the monthly? And the monthly was like $16 or something. I'll show it on the screen. But I'm like, per month? I'm like, that's a lot, fam. Like, do I, do I get any notoriety for being premium on LinkedIn? Like, do people care? I don't know. I guess you just get more characters and you could reach out to recruiters. I don't know. I say give it a shot if you're up to that sort of thing. I would cancel before they charge my card again. Um, that's where I'm at. Like if I would, I would do like a free trial for like a month and then I would definitely cancel before they try to do that transaction. I'm not doing that. To conclude, the job market this these days are, are it's so different, and you have to have different tactics. And I will be trying some out on this channel. I will come back to you with some with a tactic, and let's we'll see if it works. I don't know. We're just gonna follow it through because I want to reach out and then see if I get a response and then all this other stuff. So um, we'll see if it works. I don't know. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm. If you have any job searching tips like that have helped you or something you think might help um, others, then let us know in the chat or in the, the chat. Let us know in the comments below. Um, might be able, be able to help other people. Like I said, I think the biggest thing is like trying to solidify connections with other people. I think that's as good as we can do right now. Hope that something pans out. I don't know. If you're looking, if you're on the job hunt out there, best of luck to you because I feel your pain. I'm here with you. This ain't, this ain't it. It's not fun. And I don't think job hunting has ever been fun, but it's not, at, it, it's really not fun now. So <laughs> I can't, there's no other words I could use to describe it. It's just not as fun now. Um, and it won't be as fun. I don't think ever is fun but anyways i'm babbling i will see you all in the next video i will be getting you all on job searching process and etc and hopefully you're interested in that and then i'm also going to be i have a little bit of a of, of some ideas for like quick projects one-off things that that i'd like to share with you all so hopefully you stick around for it and i'll see you guys in the next one until then take care of yourself and be kind to others i will see you next time Bye, y'all.